good night from the cab of a truck that isn't mine. Uh, this is actually a customer's truck uh, that's having some emissions issues. We're actually, as you can see, we are in maximum D-rate limp mode. There's my wrecker right there. They're able to limp it into the truck stop here. And uh, I came in to pick it up. I've got, this is as fast as it'll go, let's just crawl it along. Uh, they parked it over there actually in a really good spot for me to back up to it and hook up. But, uh, oh, I guess you can't see out the mirror like I can. It's gonna back it up to my truck. But uh, some nice gentleman parked his truck uh, right behind it in a no parking zone. So uh, I just parked over here off to the side, um, move it over here out of the way hook up just gonna get it lined up for the most part call that good shut this thing back down okay quiet down all right now let's get it hooked up okay might as well open this up because i know we are going to need the chain forks here so we'll put them over here that was probably loud Check out all those tires. Those are like some big old off-roady looking ones, not like machinery. That's cool. And then we're gonna need our two frame chains here. Now these are gonna go here. Probably was loud again. If you're wearing headphones, that was loud too. You know what? There's a lot of loud stuff in the heavy towing world. And that's just kind of how it's got to be. Alright. And here are two actual chains. These are going to go over here. One's going to go right here. And one is going to go right there so now we're going to open up and bring our underreach down we're going to flip those receivers upright i might have parked a little far away that's okay Every time I open this, this is unrolled just a little bit farther. Okay, so we are gonna take our fancy Zach lift receivers that I got to help design stand them upright into chain sling risers on the opposite sides that's what we're doing because you see if I have them on this side I was just doing the hooks on the inside but that gives you with this hole way out on the outside for more reach but if we flip them to the opposite sides everything changes we want that yeah we want this hole on the outside because even though we're not going to use this hook we still want that to the outside and i'll show you why we're not going to use that hook in just a second now when i explain these you might remember i was saying for chain slinging things that's why this hook is here this nice butt plate to butt up against but in this case we're going to take our chain forks and drop in the top and use those instead that panel hitch right there is why so get a clip in and now we'll see how much far away i took parked it's gonna stop two inches from where i need it i guarantee it Yep, right there. I need to come this way just a hair anyway, so that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go get the truck and back up and over this way that much. Well, like that much.
That should have done it. We want these all the way to the outsides. Now we're gonna go down. But right up against the back end here, you see this panel hitch. Uh, we're gonna chain sling into this right about in that height area. If we lost this much height in our lift, this would be hitting our cross our cross bar right here. So by using these risers and the top or these forks in the top holes, it gives us that clearance here. We don't have to start unbolting hitches and stuff like that. This is a low air leaf setup. Um, it's a leaf, it's a half a leaf spring that comes into an air bag. You can U-bolt these if you use extensions and stuff like these, you know, U-bolt fork them up there, but you can see how the way that air leaf drops down, it blocks the U-bolts for making that a nice easy hook. So we just grab this right here. We go grab the frame. On this one, we're gonna wrap up around. We're gonna drop the inside of this wiring here which luckily the other side doesn't have we're going to come underneath make sure we're not going to hit any wiring there we're going to come over drop into our chain fork this one we're going to do the same thing on this side we go in front of the hanger behind the airbag Grab the frame, come over the top, drop down, make sure there's no wiring we're going to get into, come up, drop in, and then I prefer to snug it up first, then make sure that all the chains fell exactly where we want or on the outside of all the wiring so now that everything set how we want we're going to pull some little bit of slack on it we're going to go inside the truck dump the airbags so we're going to first pump all our air down then we're going to hit our switch to dump the airbags here see this is electric air switch that dumps the suspension and since uh, the default is suspension inflated you turn the key on you dump your switch some trucks a lot of trucks when you turn the key off that cuts off and then it defaults back to inflated and tries to reinflate your airbags so I just dump all the air out of the truck the fastest way to do it is pumping the brake pedal so now suspension is dumped See, bags are nice and flat. We turn our key back off. I guess I should have straightened the wheel. It's a fine center, there we go. Okay, wheel straight, and it's gonna stay dumped because there's no air in the truck for it to reinflate. So now, yeah, these tighten back up. We let it go all the way down. See it settling. That's good. Now we can take our, oh, here's that one. Our frame, or sorry, axle chains. And they just drop down here. Put the axle, where did you go? Now we take this hook, put the frame. There it is. And then we just hook our chain into that one there. It's sitting in there. We'll do the same thing on the front axle. Yep, we want this side. 
see these trucks have these ABS wires here you got to watch out for those clear same here get it in there make sure you feel no wires in there and then we're going to hook it okay I don't know why this one. That one went over there, but that's fine. And now we pick it back up. Chain draw where we want. Those will pull tight. And the axles come up in the air. Now we can bring this in. You would think as many times I push these buttons now, I know which way is in and out. Bring it out to tow. Alright, we're done with this. Now, entire steering wheel straight. Okay, that's good. Now we throw our safeties on. Man, so much loud noises for you guys. Uh, this truck doesn't have the same amount of room in here as some of their others. Uh, safety's just too short. So what I will do... Trim slings. These are plenty rated for it, and they're also rated for going over the edges like this because they're made to go through rims. So we'll choke them around in a basket configuration. Make sure they go into the thread of the hook enough. It'll make me happy. And I'll shorten up this. That'll work. This is the one that I ripped off this lug with. What I did was I hooked this right here and hooked it into there as a safety while we were working underneath the truck right here. And then when I lowered it down, you can see how that just pried this up and off. So, sorry to get that fixed. That was a major my mistake. Okay, that looks good. And more out here. And I checked all of the chain links through here, mainly the one that was sitting in this pocket. Found no issues, no defects, nothing of any concern. Safeties look good. We'll walk around. Be back where you go. You come with me, along with your battery. Everybody asks, where I got the adapter for the battery, it's just how the light comes. Pull down, look in. And then my safety I have now just for the in case. Every talks crap about me losing a light bar, I've lost a grand total of one in 10 years, so. Okay, so we are chain slung, safety's on, both axles chained up, steering wheel tied, light bar on. The fairing is the only thing we're not gonna do. These particular trucks have a really strong fairing brace system in it, and we're not gonna go faster than 55 because the whole highway we got to drive down to 55 mile an hour speed limit and it's icy as shit out there because it's in the 30s right now and it, it's dry here dry at my house the highway in between was super wet and icy so we're not going to go fast that's going to be fine just like that obviously there's like defect or cracked ones or broken struts just like that then you got i'll strap them down but i've never seen it on one of these trucks so far so well this company so oh that is what i want to do
airlines that hang up. Uh, okay. All right. We're uh, we're good to get out of here. Okay, since we're at a truck stop for once, I pulled over here, got some fuel and some def fluid. Everybody says, why don't I just get def fluid at the pump instead of in those those boxes? It's because this is the closest truck stop to my house and it's an hour away. But something I didn't mention earlier while I was hooking up, hood latches. When rear towing, always check the hood latches. I didn't mention it because I checked that when I did the walk around of this truck when I first walked up to it when it was parked over there. Uh, but a lot of times when a truck breaks down, People open the hood and check it out. A lot of times they don't latch the hoods again. So always check hood latches and uh, mirror covers. See this one has scraped something, but everything's good. This ain't coming off there, it'll be fine. Those are uh, two other very important things to check when rear towing. Like I said, these trucks are all pretty new and pretty good. Uh, we still gotta check it. Like I said, I, I, when I first walk up, I walk around, take pictures, all that stuff before I ever like start hooking up to it and stuff. So since it's dark and we got to go down a dark highway and driving is boring, especially in the dark, you can't see nothing. We're just gonna go like this. We are here, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and unload this thing. So it was definitely icy along the way. Just took it slow and easy. See, all our fairings are still fine. Mirror covers are still there. Light bar even made it. You see, uh, yeah, it was, kind of slushy mess roads but we made it windy here uh, how much battery we got left oh, most of it we're good okay. man it is windy okay steering wheel straps that's the other thing I do. Um, come on, give it back. This uh, seat belt is run through as a safety. It's not tight and not holding any weight. But just in case one of these lets loose for some reason, we have a safety. Some guys, uh, that's the only way they tie them down. And I mean, it clearly works. People do it, but come on. I'm not a fan of it. Teach their own. Perfect. You guys go here. Let's pull our safeties off. to extend it out a ways. Set it down. Get some slack in it. Of course, I didn't go down far enough. There we go. Pull you out. Pull you out. So windy. Bring you back so I don't have to step over you anymore. We do have to watch on the driver's side one. That hook's got to go kind of through some wiring we don't want to rip out. Maybe that's why I'm so good at bowling. Okay. 
Turn the hook out nice and easy, no wiring. Now we can undo our axle chains. Our other one. Okay, so this truck is ready to go park. It does fire, run and drive, so I'm just gonna pull it up there, back it into its place. I'm gonna put all this stuff away first. Those receivers can stay flipped up. They can ride on there and whatever way it doesn't matter okay everything's here I still thought these chains were like a really dumb gimmicky thing when I first saw them. I just kept using little like normal chains and fishing through there. And then, uh, yeah, they're not a gimmick there. Oops. They're worth every penny. Okay, so. My truck is put away, that truck's done, park it, and we're good. Closed up, all good, so windy, let's get out of here. Boxes closed, racks closed, man that wind is nuts. Okay, Whew. supposed to be a big storm blowing in and I would uh, say so. Look at, you see a snow flurry starting to come down here. But anyway, that's just your daily, normal, or nightly, uh, run of the mill towing job that we do in between all the cool stuff, uh, you know, to like stay in business. Um, nothing crazy, nothing exciting, but I actually really like doing those ones. It's just relaxing, it's easy, like I enjoy it. So um, yeah, thanks for coming along and uh, seeing some of what the other stuff we do that's not, please tell me it's not other call. Okay, my phone started ringing and then hung back up. It's it's very, very late or early, depending on how you look at it, and I want to go to bed. So, either way. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with that one. Hopefully you enjoyed the more boring side of company things, and uh, we'll see you next time.